Hello and welcome to Matsumasa's Media channel. This is your favorite mathematics tutor, Comfort Amwako Ata. I welcome you to my class this minute. If it's the very first of you joining my class, a special welcome goes to you. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please look down there and click on the subscribe button to subscribe. Then also click on the notification bell to be the first to be updated whenever I upload any new tutorial. Thank you. First of all, I would like to say thank you, very big thank you to everyone for doing my sister's wedding and engagement, for your contributions, your kind words, and your support, your prayers, everything, your gifts. We were so happy, and you made the day a very joyful one. So I would like to say thank you so much to my teachers here, to my students, to friends and families. We love you. The family of Amarquata and the Kumi says, Aiko, and we appreciate every bit of thing you did for my sister. Okay, so, all right. So today, uh, standard for today is on how to multiply and divide integers. Before we go on to how to multiply and divide rational numbers so we were supposed to do the rational numbers but you can't do the rational numbers without doing the integers it is a baseline for building on nets to for you to get better understanding on how to multiply and divide integers okay so there are some there are rules for multiplying and dividing integers and it also applies to rational numbers you see why i said you can't do the rational numbers without getting better understanding on the integers, right? So now let's see, we have two basic rules. That is what I just came to teach you. And these two basic rules, are, the first rule is when you're multiplying integers with the same um, sign, then your other sign will be a positive. Okay, if you are if you are multiplying integers with the same sign, the answer will be positive. If you are multiplying integers with different sign, your answer will be negative. So it means that the product of two integers with the same sign is is positive, and the product of two integers with different sign is what negative. And I'll give you some examples under that. The same thing applies to division, the quotients. And I hope if I say quotients, you understand. So the quotients of two integers is positive with the same sign. And the quotients of two integers with different sign is negative. Please keep this very well because you're going to apply that when you get to rational numbers. So you're going to use both model, number line, and so many things for you to get better understanding of the concept. So the first, let's see, I'll just give you one or two examples here, then you guys can take it out, right? Okay, let's open to the big ideas book. So multiplying and dividing integers. Okay, let's go to the multiplying integers. I hope you guys are seeing, you can see my screen. Right, so now I count the ideas. Consider the following method for evaluating. This is the first problem here. Two parentheses. Instead of parentheses, we have negative two plus four. How do you solve this? We have two approaches. We can use one. We can use um, evaluate in parentheses. And also, we can also use the distributive property to solve it, OK? So evaluating in parentheses means you solve those the numbers inside the parentheses first before you now multiply it by the number outside the parentheses. Or if you are using the distributed properties, means you're distributing the numbers inside the, um, the parentheses. Or you're multiplying each number inside the parentheses by the number outside the parentheses. And it's very easy and simple to do. So these are the two rules I just gave out. The first rule, the product of two integers with the same sign is positive. An example is being given down there. You guys can see it. Two times three is six. Two is a positive number. Three is a positive number. So the other side is a positive. Negative two times negative three is six. They have the same sign. 
Multiply with different signs gives you a negative answer. Two times negative three, negative is. And this, they have different signs. So you have the final answer to be a negative answer. These are the rules, and this rule will guide you throughout the whole lesson. Okay, so we take the first example. Um, let's see what we got here. Five times five. <laughs> this is very easy. They are positive numbers, so the answer will be positive. Negative one times negative nine. They are negative numbers, so they have the same sign. So the answer will be positive nine. Negative seven times negative eight. They have the same sign. Negative 50, uh, positive fifty six. Twelve times negative two. They have different signs, so you should know the final answer. Four times negative six. They have different sign. Negative twenty five times zero. Of course, any number times zero is equal to zero. Then, guys, to rate your understanding, give me a thumbs up if you're able to understand it very well. I can teach a friend. Give me a medal if you understood it but cannot really teach a friend and you need more examples on it. Give me a thumbs down if this lesson is very new to you. So, the, literally, what you have to understand is how to apply the rules. So, the I can statement is one, I can explain the rules for multiplying integers, and two, I can find the product of integers with the same and different signs. So this is what is expected for you to be able to acquire before the class ends. So this same thing applies to division of four integers. And if you are going to build on it with the rational numbers. I'm not going to do much. I just came here to say thank you. I love you guys. You should be uh, you show sisterly love, and we really appreciate every bit of love you shown us on Saturday. Okay, so uh, if you have any question, please do not hesitate. Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, guys, you can see now, right? Okay, so let's bring up the end of the class. Please do not hesitate. So ask me at the comment section and I'll do my best to answer all the questions. So we we'll meet again. Please stay safe and black card. I love you. Thank you and bless you.